What's up everyone? So, tutuloy natin yung naumpisa natin. So, we have already established yung geometrical and material as well as yung section properties ng structure. So, what's left is for us to add some of yung additional na mga parameters such as yung tinatawag natin release. Um, this will be um, useful if we are going to change the connection setting ng mga members natin. For instance, itong mga beams na to, I do not want them to be treated as um, what do you call this? Hindi ko, hindi ko sila gustong i-treat na mga um, fully restrained na mga elements. So parang ang gusto ko is that na, yung connection niya sa frame natin, yung sa mga main frames natin, ay nakakon lang, nakapin. So sa staad kasi if you are going to create a new project kapag wala tayong modification dun sa sa inputs natin ang assumption ng ng software is naka fully restrain yung structure so um so paano ba tayo mag-apply ng release so pupunta lang tayo sa um specification so under specification dito sa input natin, dito sa may right side ng screen natin, we have here yung specification. So, um, under beams, okay, and dito yung option natin para i-release natin yung mga um, beams na nandito sa may, or yung beams na naka, that is, that are used to connect yung mga frames natin, mga, mga main frames natin. So, balik lang ako doon. So, specification, beams. Ito siya. So, release. Meron tayong input para sa location. That would correspond to yung joint na i-release -re natin. It's either yung start o kaya yung end. So, if gusto natin na both sides, kailangan na natin gumawa ng dalawa. Okay? You can also consider partial release o kaya full release. But for yung purposes natin, we'll just use yung common na release. Okay? So, um, under release, um, isi-select ko yung location na start and then full release. Tapos ang i-release -re natin will be yung moment. Right? So, i-release -re natin yung mga moments para hindi mag-transmit ng, ng flexure sa, uh, sa mga adjacent na mga members niya. Right, so what I'll do is uh, I'll click assign para makita natin yung, yung change. So yes, now what happens is um, nung prines ko yung assign, may, yan. Yan, visually may, may makikita tayo na bilog dun sa may um, start node ng ating um, beam. Now, paano ba natin ma-identify kung ano yung start and uh, end? Pwede natin i-double click. Tapos pwede natin tignan yung kanyang joint number. So, yung start niya is yung first joint which is 30 followed by 25. So, tignan natin kung ano yung 20 and 35. So, select tayo. So, this one should be 30 which is correct. 30 and then 25. Another way is itutok mo lang dun sa beam. Hayaan mong mag-highlight. And kung ano yung green uh, na mark, right? So kung ano yung green, yun yung start. And then kung ano yung uh, blue, yun yung second node niya, end node. Another uh, way is uh, shift E. I Press lang natin sa keyboard natin, shift E para lumabas lahat yung orientation ng mga nodes natin per member. Right. So, para hindi tayo nagkakamali, let's say, gusto natin na isa lang yung joint na lalagyan natin ng release, then, kailangan natin alam kung ano yung joint 1 or uh, start node at end node. So, I'll remove yung representation ng start and end node. So, uh, shift E. Balik tayo dun sa ating specification. Gawa ulit tayo ng isa pa. So, beams release do naman sa end tapos i-release natin yung mga moments assign so kung mapapansin niyo i did not use yung assignment methodology na so hindi ko ginamit na nag-add pa ako and then saka, saka ako nag-assign what i mean is ito so hindi natin ginamit yung 
um, yung option na to. So, if you have already selected yung element, you can actually assign it directly dun sa uh, while you're still creating yung property. With that, what I'll do is pupunta ako sa front view and then I'll select all of my connecting beam Alright, para minsanan ko na lang silang i-assign. So, I'll select yung start node. I mean, start na specification. I-assign natin. As well as yung end. Yeah. So, by doing that, na-establish natin na yung connection ng mga beams na to ay um, pin, uh, pins uh, pa lang connection. So, hindi sila magtatransmit ng mga moment loads. Alright, so yun lang.